Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone. This is what I stumbled across this week. It's amazing. I have gone through quite a few of these. Um, I went through them in a strange person's living room and uh, I went through them again in my living room. <laughs> um, we'll start off with a real banger. It's a five pack from who knows when, but did you know that this one was continued? I never knew. And this is how you get these wild and crazy variants. Same with this one. I've got quite a few of this truck, but not in that color. Same with this one. Same. Every, that's the only one I have, which will probably be checked out thoroughly to see if it is a variant. Uh, and if it's not, then it'll go into the swapper box. Anywho. Um, 1996 is the copyright on this one. I was actually told by the seller, um, I can't call him the owner anymore because that would be me, wouldn't it? Um, that these were 10 years younger than they are. But when I saw the boxes in the ad, I thought, no, he's, he's got that wrong. And indeed he did. But I alerted him to the mistake and he didn't seem to care. He sold them anyway. So I'm just going to crack this open because I don't care for boxes. I know it's been beautifully preserved since then, whenever it was, 96, so therefore 97 release. But you know me, I just don't care. So excited to see it. The old ambulance. And there it is. I do a picture in picture through this video just to update you on where the collection is. Update myself too because I often lose track. They come in so thick and fast. This has got a grey painted base made in China. But um, remember the opening parts when they didn't tell you about it? They didn't upsell you, they just issued them because they could, and still can, I guess. But uh, that's the others that I'm very excited to get that one. What a nice color. We are going to run out of time super quick if I do that to everything. So we'll zip through as quickly as possible. Um, I don't collect Hot Wheels. I have nothing against them. Look at that, bad girl. Hmm. Uh, nothing at all against them to be honest in fact I do pick them up quite often and uh, more often than not these days I put them straight back down on the pegs this was $6.99 back in the day whenever the day was freeze frame zoom in squint at the screen whatever you want to do but it's a 59 Cadillac funny car for Batgirl uh, yeah as I say I, I don't collect Hot Wheels because I simply don't have the room Although, I think I have this one somewhere in the collection, the Aston Martin DB10 the Spectre from 007. Um, we'll get through a few more Hot Wheels and then we'll dive right into what I actually bought this collection for. It's a Holden Australian car, 2001 Hot Wheels Racing Series. And let's go to something that I like. Action Convoy, that cab or cab over um, I've got the hots for always have it's been around forever I did not know it extended to these boxes and yet here we are because remember they went to the Scania and um, the Aerodyne all sorts of things but, and I said I wouldn't open up everything but here we are it's um, a fairly uninteresting trailer to my eye but this is what it's all about for me. I better check the viewfinder now and again because I can't see it from where I'm sitting. It's an odd angle, as is always the case with these crazy big holes. So pleased to have that. Never knew it existed, and here it is in the collection. Amazing! All right, crack on. The mission helicopter originally bought at Big W, which is Australia's Walmart. They call it the Mission Helicopter. We call it the Blue Thunder, don't we, us weirdos? 
um, a bunch of Australian stuff in here. This is a FJ Holden panel van. Number 14 of whatever year that was, 1999 copyright. A bunch of Ferraris and Lambos in here. This is um, the F50 with the Tyco wheels. Um, a lot of these boxes are unopened, but um, uh, open, sorry, but unpunched. So I'm not sure how they were displayed in the in the shop originally. I guess they didn't use pegs. Good for us. Uh, 50th anniversary bug, 1962 V-dub. This one's been attacked. This will go into my swapper box. I already have that one. Oh, look at that. Absolutely mint. Hmm. The uh, exhausts are bent slightly, but they just bend back. They're flexible enough. Terrific. And there goes a DAF uh, cab or cab over. Magic. Just magic. I told you there was a bunch of Lambos. Here goes a black Diablo. Red interior. And I don't think that's been opened at all. Maybe it has. I don't care. That's uh, not what I'm after. Um, you've seen what I do to boxes around here. The GMC Wrecker in orange. Park Hill towing on the side. It was 71 of that year. This is going to be quite a mess, but, you know, we're used to it around here. Ford Focus in a lovely metallic burnt orange. Some racing superstars. Kodak Film Racing. The White Rose Collectibles. One of 15,000? Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, oh, this one's open. This one's easily reopenable. It's the uh, Rolls Royce in at number 66. And quite often you get little paint problems, but that's okay. I'll have to check the interior on my ones. I don't mind getting doubles and triples of this because they just look so cool together. Minty Mint. There will be a few interruptions to this video unfortunately because uh, we've got some helicopters flying around the area. Uh, there's a bushfire nearby. Uh, but um, yeah, a little bit loud. Hopefully you're not coming through the microphone too much. Another FJ Holden panel van in red. This one's open. We'll take a good look at this one. Um, seems to be mint. Pyong. Yeah, it's completely unplayed with. Bit of a scuff from cardboard. That's a beauty. FJ panel van. There's probably going to be a few in here, if I recall. Uh, Mercedes-Benz CLK in gold, with matchbox slapped on the back end. If you like that sort of thing. I'd rather they didn't, but they did. <laughs> 1994 Superstars. Uh, Fiddle Faddle. Fair enough. Limited edition. How many are they saying? They're not. It's from the Tyco era. Openable box, shall we? Of course we should. Looks like it has been opened before because that flap isn't where it should be. A little yellow flap there. It's tucked in. But yeah, no scuffing, no playwear. That's the Chevy Lumina. That's a nice one. Love those big rubber tyres. They really suit these things. Number 34, hide tools, fiddle faddle, go figure, go fiddle. And was that a double? I think it was. Well, we've got one and two of 15,000, haven't we? Cool. Hmm. It's funny uh, coming to know someone else's collection. Well, Obviously, it's now part of my collection, but um, you know what I mean. Uh, figuring out sky blue. Figuring out uh, the motivation behind someone else's collecting habits. Um, 
this is a reluctant little fella. Yeah, see that rubbing. Keeping the packaging is severely overrated. The National Tramway Museum of Crick, Derbyshire. I don't know what Crick is short for. Maybe that is the name. Crick. We'll go with that. The old Leyland. Never had any windows, so don't freak out. That's the first thing you see, isn't it? Oh, what happened to the windows? And oddly, some of these are openable. This is the Jaguar XK120. That helicopter is really close, actually, so I'm hoping it doesn't come through the mic. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping the, the fire doesn't burn down my precious collection. Or anybody's house out there, by the way. It's always the danger when you live in a forest. Metal base on this. Wonderful old casting. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that green before. Maybe there's something funky going on with the interior combo. I'll have to check. It's uh, a common theme when I buy collections. I'll be standing there at the seller's house um, and I'm going, oh wow, oh. And of course, the more you say that, the more the seller is thinking, am I selling these too cheap? What's in this box of old cars? So you've got to be careful, don't you? Here's another bus. Let's have a look. Yeah, um, but uh, sometimes I'll, I'll get home and I'll realize I had some of them. And sometimes I'll realize uh, it, the thing I was looking at was brand new to the collection, but I've seen it so many times on eBay and at conventions, etc., etc. that um, I thought I thought I had it, so it became so familiar. As my cat meows at the door, I've got helicopters out the window and a cat at the door. Now the bus, why not? Midland Bus and Transport Museum. One moment, please. What? At least every time I get interrupted, I get to slightly clean up the table. Alfa Romeo, the one they called the boot. It's the SZ. Lovely boxes too. And the added advantage of being able to open the box, take a good old look. An interior that might be new to the collection, also, but who knows? Who knows? One on its side, this one often turned up on its side. Uh, Frontera Auto Chalet, mm, it's random. It's the Isuzu Frontera, isn't it? With the maroon interior and plain silver with the very cool spare wheel on the boot, on, on the roof, on the boot, on the boot. Uh, Mighty 10 is a local Australian limited edition. Um, Mighty 10 is a hardware store here. Not quite out of business, thanks to Bunnings. Bunnings is a mega um, hardware store, like Home Depot, I suppose. But, um, Bunnings has kind of stifled everybody. There was a whole bunch of hardware stores, and now there's not. The Stinger, car shaped like a bee. I've never actually seen this out of the box, so seeing as it's open, I'll do that right now. Oh. oh, maybe I have seen it out of the box. Maybe if I troll through my videos. <laughs> yeah. Matchbox having a little bit of fun. Gotta try it all, don't you? Hmm. Okay, he's now in the collection, clearly. This one I was hunting out for quite a while, um, just for a catalogue video. It's the 1921 Model T Ford in at number 44 of whatever year that might have been. Hmm. It's 90, 1993 on the back, but who knows. Now the Ferrari, the F50, 
with the non-Tyco wheels. It's good to see. Some footy cars. Footy is short for football. West Coast Eagles is uh, Western Australia's or Perth's first football team. Then they've got the Fremantle Dockers. Um, yeah, it's cool. Um, should we have a look? It's openable. So I guess we should. Not really into the football team cars. And, uh, but you know, it's a variant on the Alfa Romeo. So it's cool in that, re in that regard. It's quite a familiar logo, West Coast Eagles. Not doing too good this season. Or well, they didn't do too good this season. The football season is over. Cricket season is well underway. Another Lambo, yellow Diablo. Even says so on the side. Oh, clearly not a matchbox. The reason I say oh is because I semi crushed one of these and set it on fire. And uh, I did a video about it. It was already kind of wrecked, so I didn't feel too bad about it. And uh, the reason I chose one of these uh, mini racer Citroens is because I didn't have the heart to do it to the Majorette Citroen of the same model. So a ragtag mini racer got the brunt of it. Um, the video is called Paris is Burning. Um, it's sort of a stop motion thing, very cinematic, if I could use that word. But um, check it out. In fact, I'll leave it in the link um, as the end of video thing to this video. It's only about 10 minutes long. It's a bit of fun. But yeah, I set one of these ones on fire, sadly. But now I have a, a mint one if I want it. <laughs> I won't set another one on fire. Uh, Ferrari F40. That's what I'm called. The stallion on the bonnet. Great. Who else? Full pack. I'm definitely collecting these avidly. And here we have a shiny uh, tipper, black tipper, with a day glow orange body. You can never go past the old Ford, Ford Transit van. There are three, I think, variants to the casting, but here we have the plain matchbox with the inserted headlamps and the eight dot wheels. Corvette T-top, that's quite a common one isn't it? In the sports box. Another bus, got to take a look at this one. We got interrupted earlier didn't we? With the Midland bus, Midlands bus. And here we have just sightseeing a bunch of flags on the side. City Rama. It's a nice blue. A little bit of cardboard scuffing, nothing major. Getting quite the fleet over the back there. Ah, I love this casting. Um, the BMW 850, normally 850i, but they've flipped the eye. Maybe this one isn't injected. We'll never know. But interestingly, quite a a late model casting, but they kept the opening doors and metal base. Fantastic. What a beauty. Nice street colour blue. And straight out the other end to the Alpine Ambulance. I won't open this one. It's a fantasy casting. But, uh, mm, mm. Can't love them all. Maybe you've got a fleet of those. And more power to you. Um, another Australian collector's model in the Matchbox uh, Postmaster General, uh, as I recall, that stands for uh, Ford Model A. Lovely condition. Look at that box. That looks brand new. It's from the late 80s, isn't it? Or early 90s, I have to know now. Uh, 1993, really? Hmm. I wouldn't have said so. I thought there were more. Maybe the white and orange. But what do I know? Another AFL car. Here we have a Ford Falcon. Again, West Coast Eagles. Nice. AFL is Australian Football League, by the way. 
Um, continuing with the Australian cars, another Ford Falcon, this one in purple. That's a good one. One thing I've noticed about uh, when, when you go into somebody's house to buy their collection, you kind of get a feel if the cars are going to be okay or not okay, um, as described. So if they say there's a few nicks here and there, there's going to be a few nicks here and there, it's not going to be everyone. But this guy said they're mint, and I have no reason to think otherwise. Um, just, as I say, walking to his house, um, did I tell you what that one was? And I don't know what it is. Yeah, you just got to, f you get a feel for people, don't you? And who's uh, a bit sad to see his Matchbox car collection go, or his 164 collection go. He was focusing on 143s, so clearly um, an obviously legit reason to get rid of his 164s. He was just running out of room for his prized 143s. This is a um, Pontiac Grand Prix. Hmm. I don't think I have many of the Pontiac. But I have many of these. It's the VW Concept 1 in orange, the black roof. Again, big W strikes again, $2.63 back then. I see some of the outlets here are doing the uh, Matchbox mainline um, for over $3. So climbing up to $4 even in a lot of places. Union Jack Tours on this double decker bus or the London bus. I'm quite happy to run out of room because it, it just means I've got a substantial haul on my hands. <laughs> Rapids Raft, bit of a rando. Um, hmm. Yeah, I did have a, there's a couple of these. I, I don't know anything about this one at all. It, it is openable, so let's have a look. Um, Team Collectibles is the byline or the tag. Limited edition, it's Braves. I don't know who the Braves are. Maybe it's Gridiron Team, probably. I, no, it's a uh, baseball team. There you go. It's really heavy and it's jammed in there pretty good. We'll make a big old racket. It's like a wrapped lolly. Oh man. Get off. All right, that's really heavy. Everything's metal. Like everything. I've never come across this. Okay, so, oh no, that's metal too. Hmm. Huh. How would you be? Atlanta Braves. That's just out there. Wow. And there's another one here too. The what? Detroit Tigers. Hmm. I won't open that one because it was a bit traumatic, wasn't it? Wow. Who knew? 96 copyright. Cool. That's so random. Ah, more random. Australia Post. I think I have this one. But uh, that could go in my swapper box. Small delivery van. Or Ford Transit, as we know it. Get rid of the packet. Ah, VW Transporter in that lovely blue on blue on white with red accents. Oh, the dark blue one? Ah, oh, the, uh, ha, ah, look at that. Meyer is like a department store here. They're still in business, but um, sort of an old fuddy daddy department store, you know, the ones that smell like perfume. Um, $2.95 reduced to one ninety five. dollars That'd be a good price, wouldn't it? That's the BMW M1. Sweet. Another Ferrari in the F50 in black this time. Saw a red one, didn't we, earlier? Perfect. Uh, the uh, Oldsmobile Aerotech purple on white with the gold Tyco wheels. I think I have it with the silver Tyco wheels. So that's good. Although memory deceives, let's face it. It's the 
It's the Gangster, the 39 Gangster Chevy. Nice heavy casting with the money bags on the door. Not that conspicuous. <laughs> Why would you do that if you're a gangster? Because obviously it's a bank robber's car. Um, Ferrari's <laughs> 46, 456 GT. Get your words out, boy. Um, this is a new colour for my collection. Oh, and what a new colour. That's really pretty. That's really nice. Bit of dust. Scuffing. No, it's just a bit of cardboard dust. Nothing serious. Lots of reds there. Who else? Something I wouldn't go out of my way to collect, but they do seem to pop up now and again. It's the um, alligator. <laughs> Have a fun. And uh, Aston Martin. DB7 in blue. Silver Tyco wheels. Um, we'll get through another couple of Hot Wheels. Um, another Holden. I think it's just a colour variant on the first one I showed you in the beginning of the video. And um, what else? Uh, from 2004. Another Holden. Just variants, aren't they? <laughs> Never been opened by the look of it. Any more? No, I think that's the last of the Hot Wheels. Might come across another one. The lovely Ford Sierra. Mm. Um, XR4i, they call it this one. Pop them out, just to make sure he's minty mint. And yes, indeed, it is. Shell oils. It was mind blowing when that first came out, just in the in the plain grey with white. I think it had maybe a red, maybe a cream interior. I can't remember. Another NASCAR, an Illumina. Magic. Oh, I think I'm chasing this one. Grand Prix Racer, the number fourteen. Sweet. Chevy Corvette, 1997 Chevy Corvette in plain red but with Corvette on the windshield. Can you see there? There's a lot of glare on that plastic. We'll survive. Huh. Dodge Viper GTS Scoop. Strange looking thing. Hey, wait a second, that's not a Dodge Viper. Isn't that the Atlantic or something or other? Let's investigate. Try to trick me. Chrysler Corporation, Chrysler Atlantic, try to fool me once, Viper he says, got to get up earlier in the morning than that, young fella, <laughs> uh, Jaguar XJ220 with Jaguar on the door, and gold Tyco wheels. I'll keep him on the car carrier there. Porsche 959 in silver with the graphics. Rear interior. Those seemingly old fashioned wheels, but they really suit. Ah. See, here we have BMW 850i. Remember, they dropped the i on the blue one. That's a beauty. Such a nice colour combo with the silver and light blue interior. And a few crazies. I don't know anybody in my circle that collects these ones. They uh, did a whole bunch of them. That's 1998 copyright. So just before the change of the millennium, everybody went a little bit nuts. Uh, Lambo Contage in black. With red interior. Doesn't, oh yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't look like it's been opened, but it's the wrong way around, so, but yes, it's been taped. That's all right. Take for granted that everything's minty mint. Superstars of Racing, MBNA, in the White Rose collection. That's a nice one. They look great together, and there's a table full of them in all that colour. Ooh, oh, looky, I have to hunt that one out now. I wonder if there's a variant there that the 
previous owner took a shine to. I have to have a look. Maybe it's a base variant. Interesting. Uh, or maybe you just wanted one completely unsealed and unpunched. Interesting. See what I mean? It's a, like a little detective story, isn't it? Another um, XJ220, but this one without the graphic on the door. And another Aston Martin, but this one in green with graphics and gold Tyco wheels. DB7. This one I've actually swapped a couple of times. It's been in and out of the studio a couple of times. And now that it's here again, um, and between the last couple of times and today, I've realised I need it for a catalogue review. And so third time the charm, I'll keep this one. Clearly minty mint. Beautiful. Couldn't get rid of it if I tried. Oh, I need this one. Maintenance truck, white on blue, highway department on the door. Mm. Ah, the uh, Hero City concept. Where is the uh, oh Volkswagen microbus? It's a strange place to put it, isn't it? That was number seventy-two of that year. Hmm. Nice powdery blue on blue there. Uh, another mini racer, randomly. Here we have a Porsche. Again, I've decided not to tell us exactly what it is. Nope. Why would you need to know? We'll call it a Porsche. I won't set fire to that one. We'll crush it. Golf buggy. Or go golf cart. One of our cricketers uh, was playing golf between matches and fell off and now he's concussed so he can't play cricket anymore. <laughs> Should have stuck to cricket, mate. Uh, I've been looking for this little bugger for quite some time. It's the Street Streak, but those colours have eluded me until today. Make way, make way. Uh, this is quite a common one of this uh, TV news truck. I'm 73 of that year. It's got the Sky Satellite TV livery with the pop up ball camera, etc. And uh, what is that? A transmitter. 1967 V-Dub transporter in red. We saw a blue and white one, now we have a red and white one. BP Car Care, Ford Thunderbird from NASCAR series. We keep you moving. BP stands for British Petroleum. One of the, the biggies. Uh, the other one was orange, wasn't it, in the V-Dub Concept 1. Now we have a red one. Look in there. Ooh, Toyota Supra. Now, again, just like the Cherokee, I've, I've had it in the studio and let it go because I thought, mm, it's a bit in your face, isn't it? Those colours are right up my... in my grill, I would say. Ha! Another FJ. This time, Royal Mail. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a keeper. This is one. I was in the dude's living room, in the seller's living room, and I picked this out of the box. And, oh! And I think he gasped as well, thinking, oh no, what am I selling? Should I keep the vet? No, mate. You shouldn't. And here it is in my collection. Fabulous. And yet another one that's eluded me for quite some time. I don't like my cars touching, but if they clink at such a low speed, then they won't be damaged. Ooh, didn't you see that before? Maybe it's a different colour. Uh, why don't you have a double of a golf cart? Ah, back to more savoury items. Grand Sport, white on red, or red on white, Corvette on the door, and very old-fashioned, but nice rims. Ah, ah, he keeps saying, look at that, variant, a wheel variant, Tyco wheels versus the eight dot wheels. Happy to have you on board, 
all of you. 1957 Chevy convertible in those very, mm, well, 50s colours. Oh, unsealed box, because I just got that, didn't I? Yes, there he is. Beauty. That being this, I can keep that unsealed. I don't mind unsealed things, as long as I can get to a, a version of it. Concept 1 Beetle, this is the third colour, but the others weren't convertible. This is a really nice blue, and really good interior on these when they really cared. This one I saw as well. And I knew for a fact that the one I had here um, didn't have the chrome exhaust stack, etc. Of course you get the, exa the exhaust stack, the tanks and the interior in chrome or not. And I knew mine was not. Beautiful. Another quiet gasp from Tyrone the buyer. That's a beauty. Openable. I'll just spot check for imperfections to see if it is one of us. One of us. Yeah. To a full warrant of fitness. Yeah. Nice, satisfying click. Yes. Suspicions. Happily confirmed that we're dealing with 100% mint. Um, Ford Mustang, in the less proud moment. <laughs> if you like that era of Mustang, more power to you, but um, not my favourite. <laughs> Audi TT in a nice deep red with matchbox on the back window. We're getting a little grandstand of boxes. I hope they don't collapse on us. Howden Commodore. Um, when Holden was closing down years back, um, it was always on the news, uh, obviously, and the premier of wherever, South Australia or Victoria, whatever state they wound up in, um, re was referring it to it as Holden's. We can't let Holden's close down. It was driving me nuts. Premier, dude, talk proper, mate. Another FJ, $15. I would have snapped someone's fingers off for $15. If they were offering this to me at $15, not if they were offering me $15. Auto One. It's a car parts outfit. Magic. $15, he says. And keeping along with the FJs, you'll have to look at this one upside down. Lovely green one. Whole tribe of them. Bonk. We might have to have a, a stop the camera to clean up and maybe recharge the camera. It's working hard today. BMW Z3 in red. Let's pop it out. Again, fantastic interior. Awesome. No package rub. The paint job on these things of this era really just stood up, didn't it? There's a little bit of dullness to that paint from the package. Or maybe it's nothing. Bit of cardboard dust. And that is it. That's a real treat. A nice one. I'm picking out a lot of red ones. And it might just be my thing at the moment. Uh, Audi Avis in chrome. It's a way to get the attention out on the street, isn't it? Look at that fool in the chrome car. Another Holden, Holden Commodore. Did I finish my Holden store? I think I did. I think I did. It's Holden, not Holden's. Another FJ in black with the sunset on the side. Or is it the sunrise? No, they surveyed a bunch of people years ago. Oh, another one. True blue. Hmm. Say so what? The six year old designed that? 
Is that right? It's a nice design. Good on uh, David here. Yeah, they did a survey. Um, they showed a bunch of people um, a picture of what could be interpreted as a sunrise or a sunset. And if it was a younger person, they would say, oh, that's a nice sunrise. And if they went to work like a retirement home, um, everyone would say, oh, that's a lovely sunset. Isn't that interesting? Hey. Oh, yes. Another one I've been chasing for quite some time. Random hay. But that's the nature of collecting. Big Ben, meat pies, sausage rolls. Ooh, I could go a sausage roll. It's more about the pastry than the goo inside. And you know you're about to have a heart attack if you eat the whole thing, but you still eat the whole thing. 33 Ford Street Rod. Saw a yellow one earlier. That's a nice addition. Wave King. Yes. Not into my, my modern boats, sadly. Lamborghini Contage in uh, blacked out window powder blue livery with Lamborghini on the doors. Mm, Ford Focus, that's the second Ford Focus. We had a, a burnt orange metallic, now yeah, we have a black with graphics. And another AFL car. Every time something happens, I, I have a little opportunity to clean up the table. The uh, camera decided to go on Smoko, clearly in the union. Have another uh, AFL cars one. I told you that the second football team in Perth is the Fremantle Dockers. That's it there. AFL being Australian Football League. Hmm. Never knew that one existed, but there you go. I'm sure it's Matchbox. Oh, it does. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. I've made a glorious mess. I love it. Uh, Tyco wheels are back in the Corvette Grand Sport with that weird tyre tread across everything. How's your view looking? I adjusted it a little to get everything in the background. Pontiac GTO Judge in red. It's kind of funky graphics. 69 Chevy Camaro SS 396 in blue. This one's very loosely opened. Now this casting has been around for a long time. Well, this car has been around for a long time and they switched the casting. Um, and are bringing out variants even as we speak but everything's slightly changed, modernized best thing about this one is the interior you get a decent steering wheel on the new one you get decent everything else like they've tucked in the chassis and the grille looks better everything looks neater but they went a bit cheap and nasty on the interior compared to this one in my opinion oh that's a variant that's the mission chopper again but this one in black and white nice Plymouth Prowler controversial car in all, in all its forms in the real form and in the 164 form it's a beautiful color though as more fire engines rip through the general area, hopefully they're not coming through on the microphone. Seems to be quite the bushfire in the area, given the amount of activity I'm hearing out there. And it's a very hot, gusty day, so not great if you live in a forest that's prone to fire. But we'll crack on. Stay calm. 1921 Model T Ford with craft livery. Ooh, Ford Probe. Yep, Ford Probe GT. Hmm, not sure about that livery. I've never been sure about that livery. 
Oh, uh, didn't we? Yeah, we had something in a five pack. Mm, he's lost in the crowd, but it was a lovely teal colour. That's the black version of the Volvo container truck. Cool box on the back too, really nice. Uh, oh, the Street Streak. I've got um, many colours of this, I'll have to check the collection. You may or may not have already seen the picture in picture of my collection, but um, we're quite deep into the video now. And I've lost track of where on earth I am. Uh, snorkel fire engine, it's a good place to be, isn't it? Lost in the collection. That's the reason we collect. Fantastic. Strange mm, burgundy type colour on that snorkel fire engine. Vegemite! Vegemite is a yeast extract brown goo. It's like a condiment, like peanut butter is a condiment. Um, very Australian. Uh, the trick is when people from TV land want to laugh, they take a jar of Vegemite out to the airport and um, ask the, the tourists if they want to try a very Australian condiment or food and they give them a whole tablespoon of this dark brown sticky goo and unwittingly the tourists shove the whole thing in their mouth and make the appropriate face but that's not how you eat Vegemite oh <laughs> this is how you eat Vegemite look at that <laughs> cool <laughs> okay I mean I'll keep them both you know what do you want Uh, Mustang Cobra with a true life Cobra on the hood silver Tyco wheels on that one and we have a dark green alligator another sentence I often say um, Jaguar XK8 convertible have to check to see if I've got that variant I don't think I have it's usually blue the most common one's blue oh Ford Mondeo that's a good looking car isn't it I like that one. Nice colour too. And no Tyco wheels. Happy days. Um, Park Hill Towing, I believe that's the second one of that exact one. But completely sealed up box. Cool. Cool. What else? Second Frontier, not Auto Chalet. Why would you call anything an Auto Chalet? But they haven't here, so it's good. Deep red. The other one was silver, wasn't it? Um, Cobra Jet and the 68 Ford Mustang. Plastic base on this one, but it's still a looker. Yeah, I like that one. Probably the uh, most frequently seen version of that. There's a lot out there, but... Oh, hello. Hello. There's the uh, GMC Wrecker again, but in black. Nice. Yet another Ferrari. It's the F50 with silver Tyco wheels. I'll have to check to see if that's a double, or indeed if I have it in the collection. And speaking of doubles, he must have been hot for this thing. It's the alligator. Oops. Jumpy alligator. Um, well, at least it's a colour variant. <laughs> Purple. Who knew? Who knew? Plymouth Prowler in crimson, as opposed to the dark red we saw earlier. Lock him there. I really like the whole mess thing. And it looks great on the viewfinder. Aero Junior. Let's actually take this one out. I don't think I've seen it in hand. What does it do? Hmm. Don't know what to make of that. Yeah. Put it next to the bumblebee. <laughs> 69 Camaro SS 396 in white. We saw a blue one earlier. This one, those nice 
black racing stripes. Oh, we're uh, going a bit high over here. Might put him down there. Well, we rarely are looking for an avalanche. Ford Transit, 90s. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. But I've got a surfer and a sunrise. Because I'm not from a retirement home. Not just yet, anyway. Mercedes Benz 500 SL. It's very common, that one, isn't it? Very popular. Porsche Boxster in a grey, metallic grey, with black interior. Really, really well done interiors on those ones of that era. I'm just waiting for these to crash down around me. Another Z3, but this one in black. Funky. And a handful more. 35, I think I've got a scuffed up version of this. The bright green number 35 Lumina. Sweet. Ah, 62 VW Beetle with a two tone going on. Those five star, well those star wheels, whatever they call them. Another Volvo container truck. This is the third variant. Let's take a look at this one. Right. Normally they're just the two axles, but this casting, or well this truck, also comes with the three axles. Beauty. Tiptoe him into there somewhere. Another Australia Post, limited edition. Now the one I have on this, I noticed, um, is just quite plain, whereas this one's got rubber tyres. No, it doesn't. It's got treaded plastic tyres and a white roof. And I think that just might be... Oh, that's why. It's not even a matchbox. Ah. So should that go anywhere near my collection? Probably not. So, mystery solved. Young Detective Tyrone. Not a matchbox. But looking every bit until closely inspected. Bridge and Highway Department and the Auxiliary Power Truck. 57 on the door. And lucky last, London Bus with a... Is that a Concorde on the side? Let's have a look. Um, 1999, so 2000. ill-fated Concorde. Ah yes. So it's got, what is that, Sydney Opera House, Leaning Tower of Pisa, and if my eyes don't deceive, is that the Colosseum? That's what my reading glasses are picking up. And yes indeed, that seems to be the Concorde taking off. Oh, they're different. Eiffel Tower, Big Ben, the Pyramids, and the Statue of Liberty. And another Concorde. Hmm. Nice. Ooh, standing room only. Hmm. Well, we'll shove him there. And we'll do a little pan around. Go upstairs. Oh, do we need to? I don't think so. Can two J heads. Look at that fine old mess. Well, that's what I'll be doing with the rest of my day. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I really enjoy making them for you. Um, I really enjoy doing this one especially because it means now I can really go through it with a fine tooth comb and see exactly um, what gaps are going to be filled in my collection today. So very exciting, very time consuming, but what else am I going to do? Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.